We're gonna uh, go to the garage today. I uh, got a new GoPro, so I'm literally doing this video to test it out. We are here. Yeah, so I bought this GoPro so I can have really nice camera for uh, drifting and whatnot. I think it'll be cool. Should hopefully make the in-car videos way better, considering it has like video stabilization and all that happy horse shit. Let go. See what the boys are up to. Looks like Jerry's the only one here. What the hell is that? Subaru? Giving it a good old test run. Oh, you got it. I got it. Are you using the uh, mm, shaky thing? Yeah, it comes already on. I looked up gimbals for these things. They're only like 80 bucks. They sell cheap ones and they sell gold. Yeah, right. So. Come over here and uh, give the viewers some info on the 240. John, in particular, busted my balls about my tube front end that I make. Add a clip of the thing. I'll take my Instagram. Or I'll send you clips so you can put it in there. So John busts my balls about the front end, and uh, it mm, chapped my ass a little bit. So I cut the front end and back off, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a tubing bender. So I went out and I bought an Eastwood tubing bender, inch and a half die, so I can bend some whatever the hell I want. Really, pretty nice bender. Cost a little bit of money, but it's totally worth it. And then I wanted to get some steel. I wanted to build a roll cage. And I didn't want to do a prefab like John and, and Jared did just because I know it's easier to do that, but I just wanted to try it. I want to learn how to do it. So I started off building the cage. I'm doing a full cage, eight point. It's going to be pretty much complete. Probably not the best because I'm not a welder. I'm more a grinder than a welder. Uh, but, and I also don't know what the hell I'm doing. And this came out one Friday, so I decided just to keep bending pipe. I messed up probably two center hoops, and I just made a bunch of notches. I got my fancy tube notcher. And the cage was much more complete last week, but then I realized when I put a seat in that my head hits on the side hoop. So I'm gonna raise the side hoop on it, make it better, weld it all together, and be done. That's the cage. Sick. Good times. <laughs> There's the door bar. A ladder bar. I'm still using that same style door bar. I'm just gonna raise the cage. So if I'm driving, I don't hit. If Jerry, he's a lot taller than I am, about six one. He's taller, so he won't hit. John won't hit. I know you should be building it for you, but this isn't a pro car, so different people are gonna drive it, and I want them to have a good time without hitting their head off the cage. I, I hit my hit my elbow off my uh, door bar once, and it sucked. The cage is all really focused on right now, so I have to get this done by next season because I told John once before with the same beer in my hand that I would. We have to get it done before April 25th oh because uh, we're going to be doing wedding burnouts, Nick. I will do Flintstone burnouts. Flintstone burnouts? Yeah, I stick my feet to the floor. And just... mm. Super sick. So, uh, how about engine? What are you going to do there? Uh, the LS over there in the corner. Let's go. The beat up LS. Well, it's, it's a five, it's a it's gonna be a five three iron block. That's what it's gonna be. I have to do a lot of plumbing still because when I got this car back, everything was stripped off it. The harness is taken out of it. The fuel lines taken out of it. The brake lines are stripped off it. This was Nick's car at one point in time, and it was like painted and nice. Now it's not. And now it's in a million pieces. <laughs> but now I have a half a cage almost done. Z32 brakes. I'm gonna do a tube front end. The engine's gonna be pretty much just a standalone 5.3. Nothing crazy. Uh, oh, you're stock. doing a standalone 5.3? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Stock, I didn't know that. Stock fuel system, pretty much. I'm gonna do a fuel cell on it, just because I don't have a tank, so I'm not gonna spend 150 bucks on a tank. 
I can just do a fuel cell. Do a return style for sure. But it's gonna be a small tank, so. But are those engines return style? I guess you can uh, technically make them return well, style. Let's get fuel rails that are return style. There's three different ones. There's a return engine, there's a non-return, and there's like a semi-return. I don't know what they consider it, but there's three different style fuel systems. That one, I believe, was a return system. Josh's, on the other hand, was not. <laughs> but we made, it's easy to make a, a return system because I won't be using the stock intake manifold. So there will be no fuel pressure regulators. I'll put one inside of the, oh, it's probably gonna be an external fuel pressure regulator. Yeah. Uh, and I'll make it a return list just because I'm gonna do more of it. So a turbo, whatever. Right. Now we're gonna do nitrous. This is my, this is a serious build for me. This is right, it's an entire car. Once There's I get the cage in, I'll be ready to rock and roll. Like I'll, I'll buy the conversion kit so I can put the engine in. I'll buy the, uh, the rebuild kit for it. And the plumbing stuff, like it's gonna be expensive, but it's all gonna be labor. It's all so labor. are you gonna run, since the engine's standalone, are you gonna run uh, like a simplified chassis harness then? Just so you can have like brake lights and... Well, I'm gonna dump the chassis harness down. I, st I want brake lights to work. I don't know if I'll make blinkers work, but yeah. I need a front and rear light. You need brake lights. I think you might need um, tail lights. I'll put tail lights in it. Well, I mean like when you turn the lights on, the tail lights illuminate. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna keep it like that. I'm just gonna try to. I would just keep all the lights however they are, because you're obviously not gonna need the wiring for the fuel pump, because it's you can just run that yourself. Yeah. If it's gonna be like any type of just return system where it's just on. Oh, here, Sager. it. <laughs> Sager. Sager. All right, maybe I'll do one more right here. That's better. Wow, that got real freaking warm. Those are MIG gloves. Huh? Those are MIG gloves. What does that mean? Or TIG gloves. Oh, well, that's why. Got really hot. Johnny's welding. I am welding. He's a professional fabricator now. Um, Those are not bad welds, John. They're okay. Certainly not my best. <laughs> Full hammer job here as the gap is large. like like Very large. Did you use this one? I probably, yeah, but that's I probably like, loosened it. John, like he clamped for the first time in his life. I don't now it's too tight. God damn it. I hate that. Better than my first girlfriend. Wow. This would have been a good time to practice TIG welding. I know. <laughs> we, we have a TIG welding set up with no rod though. All right, what about tungsten? Uh, well, we have a stock. I mean, the tungsten is probably garbage on it, but. What happens when you weld rust? It wasn't rust though, it's just that looks like shit. How's that look? I guess better. Not that one shit. looks terrible. <laughs> shit. Matsanav fabrication. What is it? Matsanav. Matsanav fabrication. Shit, yeah. It's in a bridge gaps. All of them. Big. Fortify. Fortify. Well, I might as well just go straight Should, should you try to put a clamp on it? Ah! Are you gonna try to put a clamp on it or no? Yeah, it is large and in yeah, charge here. See you guys later. See ya. Bye. Ooh, nothing, right? Yeah, a little bit. That's not enough. I got more strength than that. Oh god, maybe I lied. Maybe I lied for the camera. Lied. That's better. That's way better. Not way better, but better. You could see the gap on here. I'm sure you could. It's holding. Only real professionals use TIG gloves for MIG. I just thought they looked cool. 
I had Wi-Fi so too, I and I realized I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's how sick I am. And then, uh, you can probably take that off because this bridge is all fucking thing now. Yeah. could have possibly just been on fire. That's a fortify a ramp right there. Yeah. How do you think you did? I don't know, it doesn't look too, too bad. Pretty good. <laughs> Looks okay. Pretty good gaps, brother. I'm not worried about it looking bad, as long as it just holds the like Well, that's it. That's it for today. Hopefully this video came out good. Anything else to add, Nikki? I love y'all. He loves y'all, even though there is no y'all. Goodbye.